Hey, what's up? My name's the Goblinator, and today we're doing actually a pretty simple Brawl Stars video. Uh, we're gonna be checking out some skin ideas, specifically from Jedi Core, who, in case you didn't know, is uh, an artist who makes a lot of Brawl Stars skin ideas for all the brawlers in the game, and they're all extremely detailed and they all look extremely awesome. So uh, that's why I chose him for this video, and uh, today I chose uh, the eight most recent um, skin ideas from Jedi Core. And we're gonna be checking them out, and of course, link to his Instagram is in the description below, so you can check him out. But anyway, here we are with our first skin, known as Secret Agent Colt. This guy looks pretty cool, I don't think Colt really needs any new skins, but if they were to release a new one, it would be this guy. He's got some pretty cool um, pistols that actually shoot some kind of weird sound wave. He's got sunglasses, who doesn't like sunglasses? And his hair has been changed to black, as well as he has some gloves and a black suit, which just looks really cool. And there, he also has a suitcase, which I doubt they would actually add to the skin, but still cool. Over here we have Legendary Daryl, another crossover skin. Right now in the game we have the Wizard Barley and the Night Witch Mortis, which are both crossover skins, but the Legendary Daryl, in case you haven't noticed, is a legendary chest and he's holding two Sparkies instead of shotguns, which looks absolutely amazing. And if they were to add this game, uh, this in the game, it would probably be a legendary skin and I would buy it anyway, because it just looks awesome. Over here we've got Paladin Piper, she's got some cool armor, she's got a cool sword with a Brawl Stars logo on it of course, uh, she probably shoots her sniper shots from her sword, which I don't know how exactly how that would work, but um, still be cool to see, and uh, yeah, not my favorite skin on this list, but still very cool. Here we've got Backstreet Penny, which is very, very good looking and she also has some spray paint that she charges into her gun which would probably shoot some kind of paintball or something like that but anyway it looks pretty cool and uh, I can't imagine how the turret would shoot too because the turret seems to be some kind of a container with more paint so it would probably shoot uh, some paint in the air and then blow it up and stuff like that and uh, it would just be really cool and I think it looks great with the hat and all that and the hoodie and the shoes, she just looks like a normal girl instead of looking like a pirate like she usually does. And I think that's a good look on Penny. And I wouldn't be surprised if something like this was added eventually into the game. Over here, we've got Space Police Brock. And it's actually a really cool concept, but the final drawing didn't really end up as cool as it could have been. Because, I don't know, it, it just doesn't look that cool. And he's got like a tie on his space, shoot, on his space suit and... Uh, I don't know, the colors don't really match. It doesn't look as cool as a Space Police Brawl could have looked, but I think that Brawl Stars should really add some more space-themed skins or a space-themed brawler because they really haven't touched uh, anything in that area. I mean, they've done pirates, they've done robots, they've done natives, but they still haven't even done any space-related skins. So I think that's somewhere where Brawl Stars is really lacking in and it would be cool to make more skins like this. Over here we've got Void Gene, you probably recognize him from the thumbnail, but he's definitely, without a doubt, my favorite from this list. They managed to make cute little Gene into a total badass coming out of the portal and throwing these little magic balls, I don't even know what they are, but they look absolutely awesome. He's got some cool horns, he's got some glowy eyes, and it just looks great. I, there's nothing more I gotta say, it looks awesome. Over here we've got a BB skin, which in case you didn't know, BB still doesn't have a skin in the game yet, which is understandable since she is the newest brawler, but this would be a really cool skin for her. Uh, I would have called it Watermelon BB instead of Vacation BB because she's shooting some watermelons and she's dressed as a watermelon. Well, she's not really dressed as a watermelon, but her sweater matches the colors. So, Watermelon BB, it looks amazing. Over here we have Shark Crew Bo, which I believe is a Retropolis skin uh, for Bo because look at where he is, he's at the Retropolis place and he has a leather jacket so that uh, directly makes him Retropolis, right? Uh, he's just finished beating up Colt and uh, probably next he's gonna go for Bull or Daryl which are both in the left 
and right. And his bow has been changed to a spear. Well, it's still a bow, but it's shaped like a spear, which is quite strange. He's wearing a shark hat as well as a shark um, storage for his bow. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, looks pretty cool. And yeah, good job, Jetty Core. Last but not least, we have Surfboard Poco, which you can see hanging out with Summer Jesse, and uh, they're having a great time on the beach. Surfboard Poco has a hat and uh, some uh, cool surfboard and awesome clothes and some different type of tattoos that he usually has on, uh, near his eyes. I just noticed that as I was recording. Anyway, cool skin, very cool skin. Uh, that's the last one though, so hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you did, and of course check out some other videos. I've already made another video where I check out Jetty Core's art, uh, I'll put it in the top left corner, and uh, I'll also recommend you some other videos, so check them out, they're all good, and uh, well actually they're not all, yeah, no, no, they're all good. Goblinator!